What is happening, Jason Wright here? Hope you are doing well, YouTube. Uh, in this video, um, I'm gonna talk to you about something. This isn't even like advice for business per se. I'm gonna talk about business. It's kind of the grow piece of the smoke flow and grow thing we're doing here, but it's good advice for a life as well. So how many times have you had a conversation with somebody where they've said they were gonna do one thing and didn't do it, right? One challenging thing about living where I do in the South, uh, and remember, if you don't know this, I'm from Indiana, so I'm used to the way things are done in the Midwest, is down here, people may say, like contractors, yeah, I'll be at the house next Wednesday, okay. Next Wednesday comes and goes and nobody shows up. Where I come from, that's weird and that's not good. Down here, it's just normal. So it's like a different mentality, but that is one thing I'm never getting down with. It just doesn't make any sense to me, right? Do what you say you're gonna do, right? How hard is it? So I bring this up because um, in business, you know, I'm in marketing. So, you know, are there any secrets in marketing? Not really. Uh, can people rip off what you're doing, do the same thing? Yeah, this stuff happens a lot more than you would think. But so there's really not that many things you can do to set yourself apart from your competition. Um, one thing that I've always been big on is I want to create uh, a business that offers the type of experience that I expect from places when I'm the consumer, right? So, you know, I've got a team, let's see, I am one of eight right now, and that number fluctuates. It's been as high as 11, but we're, we're a, a, a team of eight right now, which is fine. And I own the company, but obviously I can't talk to every client about everything all the time because there's one of me. And what would be the point of having a team if I did that? Now, with that being said, if a client is like, um, I really want to talk to Jason and there's like a good reason for it, not just because I only want him and I don't want the team, but um, I'm a lot more accessible than it may appear. And that doesn't mean that I'm just sitting around with nothing to do all day and I act like I'm busy and I'm not, that's not what it means at all, but I have a pretty uh, good overall view of what's going on, going on with our different new clients and existing clients and even older clients that have been around a while. So when my team's like, hey, you need to get involved or when a client's like, no, I really need to talk to Jason, guess what? I've got links for calendars and, and they can book those calls with me, right? It, it's not that difficult for me to do and it goes a long way for the clients. And you might say, well, Jason, you don't understand how busy I am. Well, I do because I have a business as well. And you've got to know where you're needed in your company, right? For me, my role is, is sales and marketing, training the team and helping clients in this regard we're talking about today. And I enjoy it because a good client experience goes a really long way with referrals, repeat business and your reputation. So um, even though I sell our offers and our digital marketing. I generally don't fulfill every piece, but I'm always watching it move through the process of fulfillment and I get involved in the end. And if I need to get involved more often, I do so. It goes a long way with people. So I'm saying all that to say this, and again, good business advice and good life advice. Do what you say, do what you say you're gonna do. If you say, you know, you're gonna be accessible, be accessible. Uh, even better yet, do more than you promise, right? Promise uh, less than you're actually gonna deliver. It's really smart, it's a great strategy um, because people always feel like they're winning. You know when you order something and it says, you know, expected delivery five to seven days and it shows them three days, you feel like a hero? What do you think they're doing? They probably knew it'd be there in three days all along. So if they under promise and over deliver, it's gonna be a great experience every time. Good advice. And it's one of the things that I've always focused on, right? So. One thing uh, that we do in a highly competitive market, uh, we take care of our clients. I need to, you know, when I need to get involved, I get involved and I do so with a good attitude because it goes a long way. And it helps me sleep at night knowing that people are getting what they're paying for. Make sense? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if this resonates with you. Um, there's a lot of different perspectives on this. And, you know, I always want to be doing something. I can't sit around and do nothing. So, I want to be involved in the pieces of my business and I want to be involved with, and this is one of those. Hope this is valuable for you. I've got some really, really 
different videos headed your way on this little uh, experiment that we're doing. So keep checking out the videos. Um, if you like it, give it that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I promised uh, Jason Wright Unplugged uh, is going to be interesting and very entertaining for you. So see you in the next video.